basically stress free. Like this is a really really stressful weekend because when I mean, you don't know what's going on, and the company responsible doesn't stay in contact with you with any kind of reasonable, uh, you know, expectations of when things are going to go back to normal. This is my business I'm operating. It's my work week, and I can't work. But now also I can't really do anything at home because everything honestly today is relying on internet. Correct? <clears throat> it's pretty stressed out. I've been stressed out recently a lot. Uh, you know, right now we're in a situation where I don't know what the future holds. If you don't have internet, you can't do anything. Not only can I not do my streaming in my business, but I can't relax and watch stuff with my wife. I can't listen to music. I can't even go online and do anything that normally would do pay bills. Nothing, you know, entity this, it's not a business. It's because it's not, I don't own a business. I don't legally own a business anywhere. I'll publicly admit to all of you that yesterday was a very stressful day. Um, and basically I know for those who were here live that a lot of things went wrong and people were upset and, and there's good reason. Reason number one, trolling. Because I came back out of nowhere to stream yesterday, the trolls took advantage of it. My moderators were not there. They didn't know I was going to be streaming. So there was no moderation at all on that first stream yesterday. An insane amount of trolls came and they were insulting everyone under the sun. Myself, the viewers, just every possible thing, trolling, 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 and a lot of people said it was like unwatchable. Well, if you were in the chat, you're probably right. When I'm playing Street Fighter, <clears throat> I can't just sit here and babysit the chat. I gotta play the game. When I'm playing the game, I can't look at the chat. And that's exactly what happened, is these people took advantage of that, all right? In addition to that, I was so stressed out. I know I, I was not a good person to hang out with yesterday. I was so stressed out, I was screaming and yelling. I was complaining constantly. I was worried about every possible thing. I had everything on my mind. The fact that I had missed out on a, a, a stream and a half that was important to my business. And imagine if one week you were just told, no, guess what? You just can't work two days this week. W Dubs fan to me, Dollar Thirty. He says, if Super Hell Media takes down all detractor channels, you think you'll lose viewers? Those people aren't watching my stuff now. Those people are on detractor channels watching my stuff. They're not giving me views, you know? But. At the same time, I completely 100% disagree. And there's no sick time. There's no thing to make up for that. You just can't work. You're losing your income this week. It's like, wait, what? But I need that. Yeah. And you know, there's things weighing on my mind and it shouldn't be, but it is. And the thing is, I feel like for a while we were actually doing really good. Like I would say for several months here, <clears throat> we were in a good vibe where things were going good. People were, were coming out to every stream. They were supportive. People liked the, the variety of games I was playing and the balance that we were doing. And to have this weekend happen, I really feel like it kind of, it really threw a monkey wrench into stuff and screwed it all up. And I apologize for that. Anyone who was here yesterday and you feel like I was coming over as like a real jerk, I was coming over as a, uh, a very agitated, very stressed out, you know, getting really angry, stressed out, screaming at everyone. Uh, and or being overbearing last night because after having done uh, <coughs> after having done all of uh, excuse me now I'm now I'm having a brain fart after having you know a two day or excuse me essentially two streams taken away from me and having such a great streak of great streams and everything going on this month to have that kind of have a really bad slow support stream last night was killing me and I shouldn't have said a word I should have just said hey support if you want but instead I just kept mentioning it mentioning it mentioning it and a lot of people got upset by that and you know what you're right sorry for fucking what I shouldn't have acted like that I felt like you know I was talking just like I was back in the fall which I tried to stop doing and improve from doing and that was because of the stress because of the stupid shit going on and it's really stressed me out and I didn't need to freak out and I didn't need to be talking like that and I apologize to everyone for yesterday coming back from a bunch of stressful stuff going on, jumping right into more stressful stuff, and acting out of character. Today is going to be a better day. Today, we're going to relax. We're going to have a chill stream. We're going to have a normal paced stuff. Everything's going to get back into the swing of things normally, okay? Because I feel like I, I, I disappointed a lot of people yesterday. You know, oh, Phil's back, and they come back, and like, wow, he's, he's really stressed, and he's acting like a jerk, and he's screaming, and, you know... He's not having a good time with Street Fighter, and now he's talking about money again, and what the hell happened here? This wasn't like this. You're right. You're right. This stuff this stuff really could get to me, and it did. It got to me yesterday, and I'm sorry for that. That's not begging. That's business. Contact my neighbor. Yes, my neighbor's internet's out too. All right. So <clears throat> I figured we'll wait a little bit. I'll have dinner. I can't upload or anything. Right now, here's the thing. When the internet goes out, the only way that I have the ability to go and talk to you guys is by connecting with my 
cell phone internet, the 5G internet that my cell phone has, all right, to their wireless network, <clears throat> excuse me, and to try to post up via Twitter or make a you know community post via my phone. Now, here's the big thing, and this is what a lot of people didn't know or didn't understand. I don't have good cell phone reception at home. To give you some perspective, right now, I have one bar in my office, okay? If I move around my upper floor, I can get up of upwards of three bars, but it usually dips down to one bar or zero bars all the time. It's not a consistent thing in my home, all right? It's just not good cell service here. And in fact, I need to drive around the corner and then cell service is great. I have better cell service if I leave my block than if I'm on my block, all right? And it's not just my cell phone company, it's all cell phone companies here. It's just, the service is not good here. This fucking sucks. The internet is fine. When the internet's working, my phone is always connected to my internet and that's how I do everything from home. <clears throat> so some people think, well, why don't you get a 5G hotspot? Why don't you have the 4G backup that your internet company offers? Because it doesn't work. It's just as bad as my cell phone internet. It, I literally would not be able to stream on it because the connection is awful. You understand? There's nothing you can do to fix that. If you have bad cell phone reception, you have bad cell phone reception. Uh, I, I just can't improve it. All right? It's one of the reasons why I need to have the internet I have, the very expensive business line of internet, because I can't use other alternate things. There's satellite internet. That's terrible out here. Like, I have to use Comcast. They're the one option I have to be able to do the streaming and stuff that I do on a daily basis. They're the only one to finally log into the Comcast site. And the Comcast site claims, oh, your internet will be back by 6.40 p.m. So I'm like, oh, good. I'll be able to do my late stream. So, my wife and I can't do anything. We eat dinner. We're like, we can't do nothing. So, we took a nap. We took a nap on the couch. What else are you going to do? There's no internet in the house. You can't do anything. People who don't do this want to believe that this is like some kind of an amazing stress-free dream job and they aspire because they want to do it, right? So, I wake up at 6.40 p.m. and I go and check. There's no internet. So, I go and check the business website. Oh, update. So, now your internet should be live by like 7.45. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Right? Like, what is this? So, I tell you all, I guess the stream's canceled because I can't I can't come back. There's no internet. 7.45 comes and rolls around. There's no internet. Oh, they changed it now. 9.45. I was like, all right, I'm seeing a pattern here. What's happening is they don't know. They don't really care to actually communicate that. But instead, they're going to keep lying to the customer. He's a blatant fucking liar. Okay? So, which is probably the worst thing you can do. Instead of having unreasonable expectations... Just don't give the expectation. I told you guys this a million times. You under-promise and you over-deliver. You don't over-promise and under-deliver. If they keep giving ETAs that are blatantly wrong, all they're going to do is piss off the customer. And that's exactly what they did. It's the worst thing they could do. Their customer service is fucking horrible. Okay? <clears throat> so, here I am thinking, oh, it's going to come back. Oh, it's going to come back. Oh, it's going to come back. Never comes back. So, basically, I have no internet all night. All right. So uh, first, my wife and I are like, well, what should we do? We have no internet. Well, we have some things to do around the house. We do some housekeeping. Um, we actually had a series of cat newsletters that we had built up over a course of several months. We were, I don't give a fuck. And we're like, so what are we going to do tonight? Because we have no internet. And everything we do is on the internet. Everything we watch, everything we listen to. It's too much work. I can't. So I go to sleep. And by the way, as I'm going to sleep, they update and it says, oh, your internet will be back by 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m. Okay. By the way, in the meantime, no, Comcast didn't reach out to any customer to tell them that there was an outage at all. You had to f somehow figure it out for yourself. And if you have no internet, how do you do that? So they leave you in the, in the, in the weeds. They don't care. Um, so they had a service where it says you can sign up to get text updates when your internet comes back. So I signed up for it. I said, yes, here's my cell phone number. Here you go. Text me when the internet comes back so I know what's going on and I can stream. Okay. So I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning. It's now, you know, probably like 8.30 to 9 a.m. on Sunday. No internet. I was like, this is ridiculous. So now it's been, what, 16, 17 hours with no internet? What is going on? And so I talk with my neighbors again and they're like, yeah, we still have no internet either. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. Restaurants are huge on Father's Day. So, and guess what? All the restaurants around here had no internet. So they couldn't accept any internet-based payments. They could only take cash on Father's Day, a day when naturally they're going to have more business and need the business. So just think about that, right? So 
I'm looking everywhere, all right, and basically, I'm in a situation where, what are we going to do? There's no internet. My internet company is not giving a proper ETA whatsoever. I said to my wife, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call them. I'm going to talk to someone. And if they can't tell me when the internet's coming back today, we're just going to go out. I'm not going to, we're going to have a whole day wasted. What an awful thing to sit at home all day with nothing to do, right? Because everything we like to do is on the internet. So we're not going to waste our day. We're going to go out and we're going to have a day out, which is rare that we would just do that. We never do that randomly. But hey, why not? Why not just go out and enjoy the day, right? So I call the internet company. They won't let you speak to a human. Because basically what you do is you put in your information and say, oh, we detected you have an internet outage in your area. You, We cannot help you. I'm serious. This is what the, the line says, the automated line. We cannot help you with that. Even if you talk to a customer service rep, they still cannot help you with that. Therefore, you know, we'll contact you when it's better. Have a good day. And the line hung up on me. What a complete asshole. Wow. That's amazing. That's really great customer support. Like, wow, thanks so much. It really makes me want to really stay with your company, doesn't it? Right? Like, that's just outstanding. <clears throat> so, after being hung up on and told that I can't talk to anyone, I said to my wife, we're going out. Who fucking cares? Anything that's like like toothpaste, mouthwash, uh, medicine, you know, those kind of things are usually expensive. And we got them all half price. I was like, wow, this is really good. So, we ended up stocking up on that stuff. Now, while we're there, all right? I get a text from one of my neighbors and one of my neighbors says, oh, I think the internet's back. And I'm like, well, I signed up for the text notifications from Comcast. They didn't send me anything. Are you sure? And another neighbor texts me and says, well, I'm not an internet expert like you, <laughs> but all the lights are back on on my modem and I think my, uh, my internet's working. Oh my God. The common intelligence level of the common gamer. Oh my God. And I was like, oh shit, so maybe the internet went back on. So I said to Kat, all right, let's wrap it up here, right? We were already out for a couple of hours. Let's wrap it up. Let's try to get home. Now, what sucks is my wife's like, well, it kind of sucks because we did get ready to have a day out, like a whole day out, and we've only been out for a couple of hours. But at the same time, yeah, it makes sense to come home now that the internet's on and everything. So we basically rushed back home, okay? And yeah, the internet was working again. So thank God my neighbors told me because if my neighbors didn't tell me, I never would have known the internet was back because again, Comcast didn't do what they said they were going to do and text me to tell me my internet was back. So as you know, I rushed to try to get a stream going and there was no podcast. There was no intro. There was no relaxing. There was no talking. It was just go right into Street Fighter 6 with Dalsim. Another one of these stupid, you know, days where just stuff, crazy stuff happens I'm completely out of my control. My internet came back roughly 1 p.m. Pacific time yesterday. Do you want to know what time Comcast texted me? 7.45 p.m. When I was already into my second fucking stream on the restored internet. That's when they texted me to tell me my internet was back. Six to seven hours late. That's when they got around to texting me to telling me that the internet was back. No fucking shit Sherlock. So... If you want to talk about awful customer support, this is probably a prime example of that. A company that made no effort to reach out to the customers to even tell them the internet was down. That constantly promised them the internet would be up by a certain time frame and then just kept bumping the time. Instead of saying, we don't know, we don't want to overpromise and underdeliver, they kept overpromising and underdelivering again and again and again and again and again. Then they have a service set up saying, we'll tell you when the internet's back, and they don't do that either. So it's like every step of the line is a fail. No redundancies, nothing to help the customer whatsoever. Call our customer service line, you wanna to talk to a person, we hang up on you. 